Well, the Giving Challenge is an unbelievably exciting event every year for local nonprofits. This year, more than 550 organizations are participating in the Giving Challenge. Many of them are located in Manatee County or serving Manatee County. And you know, for us at Manatee Community Foundation, this is an especially exciting year because this is the first time we've been able to welcome our community into our brand new building. So we have an amazing facility at 2820 Manatee Avenue West. And for the last 24 hours, we have been hosting nonprofits, donors, people who are just curious about what's going on. They've been stopping by in our giving room, getting a little bite to eat, and talking to us about the charities that they are supporting in the Giving Challenge. It's really been special for us. So the Giving Challenge started out in 2012. This is the fifth year of the Giving Challenge. And you know, when we first started out, we had a little bit more than 100 nonprofits participating. The Giving Challenge is really hosted by the Community Foundation of Sarasota County, which is our sister organization. And over the years, it's evolved. Over the last four years, more than $15 million has been raised for our local community through the Giving Challenge. And this year, the challenge is bigger than ever. The past Patterson Foundation this year is matching every single donor who gives at $25 through $100. And the match is one-to-one -one if the donor gave to the organization in the past. And the organization is actually, the money is actually tripled for the organization if it's a new donor. So it's been unbelievable to see the amount of generosity that we've seen. And you know what? This is unrestricted money that goes to the nonprofits in our community. That's some of the hardest money to come by. So more and more nonprofits have had the ability to participate in the Giving Challenge. And the golden ticket, the really important piece and what controls everything and whether or not an organization can participate is whether it has an updated profile in the Giving Partner. Now the Giving Partner is a tool that was started by our friends at the Community Foundation of Sarasota County and it allows nonprofits to share their transparency. So organizations will go online, they spend many hours creating a profile that talks about their programmatic impact, their financials, who's on the board, the difference they're making, and they update that profile once a year. And so more and more organizations have been establishing these profiles in the Giving Partner, and that not only allows them to participate in the Giving Challenge, but it allows people in our community to have access to one website where they can learn about all the organizations that benefit our area. And that is a, that's a huge gem for Sarasota, Manatee, Charlotte, and DeSoto counties. That's the four county area that's covered by the Giving Challenge. So the last 24 hours, again, have been so exciting, and the nonprofits really spent a long time preparing for this opportunity. It started out with a training at the Community Foundation of Sarasota County. Manatee Community Foundation also held a very special training for our Manatee Millennials Challenge, which is encouraging young leaders to get very involved in the Giving Challenge campaigns for their organizations. And so when the campaign first kicked off, um, you know, almost 24 hours ago now, now, almost immediately we saw huge amounts of money on the leaderboard and it's just continued to grow and right now there's more than five million dollars on that leaderboard and that does not even include the matching funds that are going to be awarded through the Patterson Foundation so it's just enormous and we're talking about more than 50,000 individual gifts that have been made in less than 24 hours so it's just amazing 
So we love to think of Manatee Community Foundation as the hub for philanthropy right here in Manatee County. And now that we have our new space here, this is the perfect chance for colleagues to come together and celebrate the successes that they have really experienced and led across their different organizations. So we have animal welfare groups that brought their dogs available for adoption. We have arts groups. We have health and human services. We have wonderful books available for kids that were donated by the United Way of Manatee. So really, our community is one that loves to be together. We love to celebrate together, and we're proud of each other's successes. So that's why everyone's come together today at Manatee Community Foundation to talk about this enormous gift to the community that's been given to us by the local foundations, but also that we have helped to leverage by the hard work of the staff members and volunteers that have led the campaigns. So the Giving Challenge means such exciting things for Manatee Community Foundation. We're really eager to get out there and share our story about how we connect donors with needs in the community. And because the Giving Challenge brings all kinds of people together, we are introduced to new faces in Manatee County that want to give. They want to know more about the organizations that really touch their heartstrings. And that's when they get connected to Manatee Community Foundation. We have a big role in that, and we feel really strongly that you give more when you're giving passionately. So that's where we fit in and we're so happy that people have stopped by to visit with us and learn more about what we do in the community. You know, since um, 1998 we've awarded more than 16 million dollars in grants and scholarships and all that is made possible through individual donors who care about all of these causes in our community. I'm so excited now to be speaking with Rick Yoakum, the Executive Director of the Humane Society of Manatee County, and Valerie Br Bliss. And Valerie, I'm really curious, how long have you been up over the last 24 hours? Um, about 23. <laughs> and what have you been doing over those last 23 hours that you've been up? Well, um, frankly, uh, kind of fretting a little bit, but also keeping an eye on making sure there was 100% board giving just because we had a staff challenge, a board challenge, and I wanted to make sure we met those challenges and I wasn't going to sleep. I was texting saying, hello, it's, you know, time to ante up and um, how can you not take advantage of such a great opportunity? That's great. So Rick, one of the questions I have for you is you've raised a lot of money. We're not sure about what the total is yet, but you've raised a lot of money. What are you going to do with that money at the Humane Society of Manatee County? Yeah, the great part about this is that it's unrestricted, so it's going to go for the care of the animals, and that's really where we uh, strive to, to try to bring donations in so we can provide the medical care and the care that these animals need to make them adoptable. And, uh, you know, most of the dogs in our shelter are there for 19.6 days and then they're in a new home, and we want to continue that. And we also want to continue to help the medically challenged dogs. That's what we do. It's what makes us unique, and this is the answer to that. So this has been great. That's fabulous. So one of the things I'd love to ask you about is you had a really special partnership with Turning Points this year. So um, tell me a little bit more about how that partnership started and what you accomplished together during the Giving Challenge. That was probably one of my favorite things because they approached us uh, thinking of what they said was, you know, we've got a lot of clients that come in here that have animals. And so we're providing services for the people, like food and and employment help, help and and um, job interview resume, blah, 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 um, yet they have animals and so they need help and of course that's expensive as well. So when we got together, I looked at our list of programs and we took their list of programs and we were blown away that we literally had almost an identical list of what we offer animals and they offer people, both in a homeless situation, if you will. And so the next thing we found out was part of our tagline had the word compassion in it. So we're like, this is no doubt going to be a long-term relationship. And we came up with compassion in action. We found that we've, we now have joint um, clients, if you will. And we are now going to have an ongoing vaccine clinic and food pantry. So we just expanded our services and outreach in an area that needed us the most. So this is going to be an impact that's going to last for a very, very long time. And we couldn't be any more excited. 
That's one of the things that we love to hear because the giving challenge is over in 24 hours, but one of the most important things is whatever you accomplish during the giving challenge or new partnerships that you formed continue after that time period. So you have plans to continue to partner with them in the future? Absolutely. In fact, we did a joint event last night and we brought the millennials in and they were part of it and they were all excited because they their goal is outreach and a better community and that's what we are trying to do as Turning Points and the Humane Society. So we, we are going to do this off-site vaccine clinic. The one we did, the first one we did, it, it was we, we served 57 animals, 39 families. It was non-stop and they were gracious and they and half of them signed up to have spay and neuter which helps the animal to be healthy but also um, helps our community with strays and, and the, the issues of overpopulation. So we are definitely going to be continuing. Plus, they opened up, they have partnered with Goodwill as well in their donation center, and they opened up a whole wing for pet food donations as well. So that, to me, is is making, again, a very, a, a, what I call a trickling, almost like a, I don't want to call it an earthquake, but you know what I'm saying, a, um, circle, a bigger, bigger than we thought, but greater for a better community. I love to hear that. So my last question is this. Um, I know, Valerie, you really led this effort for the Humane Society, but it takes a team to make it happen. So, Rick, who else was on this team, and what were their roles in the Giving Challenge? Yeah, first, uh, also, this is my first Giving Challenge, and the excitement in the Manatee County and Sarasota County communities was beyond my wildest dreams. Um, the love that people showed, the compassion that people showed um, is truly amazing. Um, our team at the Humane Society of Manatee County, um, we had our board members involved and we did have 100% board giving. Uh, we had our staff involved, our shelter uh, director, our shelter manager, Brenna, was the staff captain. Uh, Michael Dinsmore, one of our board members and our treasurer, he was the board captain. Um, and the plan that Valerie put together and, and we all executed through um, you know, her direction the entire time, and I can testify to the fact that she did not sleep last night and was texting and emailing. Um, it was just a great, great team effort. Each and every person at our facility uh, was involved in this, and their families as well. Um, just truly amazing, uh, really is. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with me today, and congratulations on all that great money you've earned. Thank, thank you, so and the animals thank you. So now we're going to speak with Linda Hamilton, and she is a board member for Wildlife Inc. out on Anna Maria Island. And Wildlife Inc. has done an amazing job in the Giving Challenge. Um, tell me how you organized your campaign this year, Linda. Well, this year we got a lot more people involved, which I was really happy that they were all willing to get involved. We have social media kids, I hate to say it, that can do the work uh, for social media. We got another girl um, who works for us, the uh, Sarasota Community Found, uh, Sarasota Community uh, College, and she was helping uh, with getting a video going. So we had many, many people uh, who wanted to help get this challenge a lot go, going a lot better than it did last year. That's great. Um, so tell us a little bit about the mission of Wildlife Inc. And, and what happens out there at the facility and really why it's so important for people to come forward and support it. Well we're the only wildlife rehabilitator association that takes in birds, mammals, and reptiles in the county as well as Sarasota County and in, in surrounding counties. So we take in all native species and we real, we rehabilitate them as much as possible. We get about, we have about a 70% uh, release rate, which is fantastic. So uh, being the only rehabilitator around to take in wildlife, as you know, there's a lot of wildlife out here uh, in the area. And as we, as we build more and more and more um, development, it gets, it gets, we get more and more animals in. So that is our job to, at least that's our job that we want it to be, to help these wildlife that are injured, orphaned, and even displaced wildlife. Now Wildlife Inc. really operates on a very shoestring budget, a lot of volunteers. Um, why is something like the Giving Challenge important for smaller organizations that find it more difficult to come up with, with real operating dollars? Well, it's a great way to get funding. We, as you may know, we are not funded by the state or federal. No, we get no funding from that, so it's only individual donors. And I hate to say it, most individual donations are not large. We just don't get a lot of people that, that can really give a lot to the wildlife. And so the Giving Challenges is an, a very important part. And right now, it's going to be our biggest donation uh, funding uh, 
type of event uh, at this point. So it is very important to us to, to uh, do well at the Giving Challenge, and we appreciate so much all the people that donate to us. Well, thanks so much for being with us here today, and congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. Thank you. So Barb Lewis with the Boys and Girls Club of Manatee County, congratulations on all of your success in the Giving Challenge. Thank you so much, Susie. We just met our personal goal a little over an hour ago, so we're very excited about the campaign. Well, congratulations. So I know that in this particular campaign, you are raising money for something very specific. So can you tell us about what that is and why it's so important? Um, we're raising money at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Manatee to provide scholarships to children who otherwise wouldn't be able to attend the club. So um, in making our goal, we can serve that many more children, pull children off the waiting list, and keep them at the clubs having fun and being safe after school instead of on the streets or going home to an empty house. That's great. And tell us a little bit more. Um, when children go and they hang out with you guys and they have the benefit of your wonderful professional staff and all the activities, what are some of the ways that that impacts the whole family? Well, from the family standpoint, at least mom and dad don't have to worry about their child not, you know, having a safe place to go. Um, our club staff um, helps the children with their homework when they get there, so mom and dad don't have to worry about that at night. In some cases, they receive healthy snacks or even meals, and that's helpful. The children are, you know, running around playing after school, and, and they're hungry. So, you know, we feed them as, as appropriate, and, um, you know, we, we offer an opportunity for the kids to build close friendships with others at the club. I interviewed some students last week and, and all of them said that, you know, having close friends at the club, someone to be there for them, and the staff to mentor and support them meant the world to them. So having happy children um, means a happy family. That's great. So in this year's Giving Challenge, this was the first Giving Challenge ever where every single donor could get matched. And their, their dollars were either doubled or tripled based on whether or not the donor was a returning donor or a new donor. So what does that kind of matching from the Patterson Foundation really mean for the Boys and Girls Club? Is that easy money to get or is this like a once in a lifetime opportunity? Well, I'd say it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have the matching gift component because you think for people to be able to double or triple their impact with their gift is phenomenal. So um, I couldn't resist. I've been scanning the last 24 hours our list of donors, and we have many dear friends who continue to support us. We have new friends, and it's just exciting to see the community come out and embrace the classes that are important to them. And one more question. So the new friends that you make during the Giving Challenge, those new donors, um, you all have a wonderful development team. How do you go about making sure that those new donors continue to give to the Boys and Girls Club and the kids that you support? Well, hopefully by providing um, lots of opportunities to engage with the Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, uh, my associate and I, we've been sending emails to people this morning offering clubs, um, you know, club tours for folks, um, opportunities to come to our events, to learn more about what we're doing, and um, staying in touch, communicating with them often, and reminding them of the good work that we do and what their gift means to us. So thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, having you in our community means a tremendous amount to Manatee Community Foundation, and thank you and your team for all of your hard work. So now we are with Carla Nierman with Art Center Manatee, and what a treasure we have in our community with the Art Center. And I want to start out with a really um, important question. Why are the arts so important here in Manatee County? Well, first of all, good morning, Susie. Uh, the arts in our community are so vital well, first of all, what, who are we as a community without art? It enriches our souls, it adds economic impact, and it makes us a whole community. That's wonderful. And you've had great success with the Giving Challenge this year and in other years. So how do you mobilize your team to get excited about the Giving Challenge and get donors out there giving? Well, first of all, we're very, very fortunate to participate. We are most grateful to uh, the Community Foundation and, of course, our community in, as a whole. We motivate mostly by our development coordinator, Kathy, and, but we understand the importance of giving. We like to give. We like to receive, of course. Um, the, this is a really important event in, in our organization as we continue to grow our do uh, donor base. Great. 
Now, what are you going to use these Giving Challenge dollars for? They're, I know they're all kinds of wonderful and important programs that you have at Art Center Manatee. What's the most pressing need and how are you planning on using these dollars? Currently, the most important need is programming. So we will invest in some programming that will enrich the children and the adults alike. We also have an arts and healing program that we're trying to launch, so that will also help tremendously with that. Wonderful. Now, um, again, there's a lot that you're doing. If people want to know a little bit more about Art Center Manatee, how can they find the information? You can go to our website at www.artcentermanatee.org. Of course, you can always call us at 941-746-2862. Thanks for all that you do in, your, in the community, and congratulations on your great success. I know you're excited. Thank you so much. Susie, you're awesome. <laughs> so are you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. I'm so excited to be talking with one of our board members from Manatee Community Foundation, Jim Bruin. And Jim really does a lot for Manatee Community Foundation in the Giving Challenge. He's not only one of our board members and supporters, but he's also been a donor in the Giving Challenge. So tell me, what does it feel like for you and your lovely wife, Jane, to be participants in the Giving Challenge and to give to different organizations through this vehicle? Well, we're both amazed at the organizations in Sarasota Manatee County that now exceed over 500 that have come on to this giving challenge and have put their if you will their resumes right out there and uh, we can do the you know appropriate research to learn out about these organizations and Jane and I are just excited with this opportunity and thankful to the Patterson Foundation for their taking leadership in on this and it's like this is a no-brainer I mean, here is an opportunity to have your contribution not only go to that many charities uh, that d deserve that kind of support from us, but it can be doubled and in some cases tripled and even more. I, I think we all should be opening up our wallets. I mean, this is the time of the year to give. And I think when all these numbers are in, we're going to be very happy and we're going to be very proud of our community and 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 I am proud of what the Manatee Community Foundation and Susie has done to stir this up in the county and to be uh, a leader for us here. Well, thank you so much. Um, one of the things that's been really exciting for Manatee Community Foundation this year is that we have a new building, and so we have a space where everyone in the community can get together and celebrate the joint philanthropic accomplishments that we have. Um, what has it been like for you? I know that you've been in this room throughout many of the hours of the Giving Challenge. What's the energy been like, and who are some of the people you've met? Well, we, had, we moved, uh, taking a step backwards from uh, down the street, where, where we'd have an event, we would have met in the hallway at a, uh, and gather around one single table and did, a, did our planning and board meetings and such. This building and this community room, which was planned for and is now a gift, a gift to the community, a gift that uh, the organizations are taking advantage of. I was here last night and yesterday morning and the, uh, the balloons, the environment, the energy, the number of organizations that come through here and say thank you. And thank you when they look at the leaderboard and here that's visible and are proud and excited and are going to go back to work more energized to do the things that they, they do very exciting. That's wonderful. And, and one of the things that you touched on is the Manatee County pride. And since I've been on board here, I've really noticed that people feel tremendously proud of our community. As a board member of Manatee Community Foundation, what do you think our role is in leveraging that pride and be bringing people together around giving and philanthropy? Well, I think we've already, with Susie's leadership, done a great job. I think the, the uh, outreach that we have done to the community has been a model for the other agencies. I have gotten more tweets and FaceTimes and the, the social media has just been alive with, with messages going out, reminding us, I mean, they're already thanking us. Uh, this has been uh, a, a wonderful experience. This is gonna be an even better year than last year and we have nowhere to go but really up and we have great leadership on the board here in the Manatee Community Foundation and great staff here. 
Thank you so much. And I want to do one more shout out to our board, but also a shout out to the Community Foundation of Sarasota County. Their staff have provided all of the back end support for this. They framed many of the marketing messages and worked so hard to really make this work behind the scenes. And they are our sister organization up in Sarasota. We're proud to be part of that family here in Manatee County. And I thank you so much, Jim, for everything you do as a board member. You're welcome. Thank you. I am so happy to be talking to Katrina Bellamare with Family Partnership Center. And, you know, Family Partnership Center has such an important mission in our community. Tell us just a little bit about what you do and why it's so important. Um, we're really there for all the parents in our community to help strengthen them and also for parents who are struggling or have a history of abuse in their family, oftentimes they're passing on um, some habits that they've had as, as children onto their, onto their kids and they don't want that. So we also prevent child abuse for families who are highly at risk. So the Giving Challenge, a huge opportunity. This is one of the biggest years. This is the biggest year that we've had with the matching available through the Patterson Foundation. Tell me what unrestricted dollars mean to Family Partnership Center. It's incredible. I mean, I think we have 19 families on our wait list that are waiting for services and really wanting to um, engage because they're in crisis with their kids. And being able to get those unrestricted dollars means that we can immediately put that to use and get them off the wait list and go in and serve them. Um, outside of an opportunity like the Giving Challenge, is it hard to raise operating dollars? Is this a little bit easier? And, and if so, why? This is very easy because I think anybody can do it. You have lots of people out there that can only give $25, $100, and they don't feel like it matters as much. And when you put a matching challenge with it with the Patterson Foundation, I think it just makes it possible for everybody and they get, all get excited to be able to give back and help. That's great. So tell me a little bit about the team that was powering the Giving Challenge behind the scenes at your organization and what they did to make it work. Sure. Um, we have Katie Emerson, our new marketing and development person, who came up with this great idea where we have a banner with um, a child on it and she is looking out into the sky and looking for hope. And so we've put Named a Star and Lit a Star for every donation that we've received. And we've seen that just grow over time and been able to see that really light up. And so it's just a visual um, expression of what people are doing and how much hope that they're giving kids in our community. Thanks for the hope that you're giving to kids in our community and parents too. And um, if anyone wants to learn more about Family Partnership Center, how would they do that? Familypartnership.org. Thank you so much, Katrina. Congratulations. I am honored to be standing here with Marilyn Howard. And Marilyn Howard is a woman who has built the Manatee Community Foundation to the community foundation that it is today. So thank you so much for coming. And describe a little bit about the energy in the room today um, during the Giving Challenge. Well, first of all, it's fantastic. The energy is fantastic. And I just have to say, as an old timer, it's fun to have everybody here at the Manatee Community Foundation in our new community room. It's been many years coming, and it's great to see it being used so well with all of the nonprofits and our board members and everyone being able to celebrate together another giving challenge. That's right. Now, Marilyn, you and the board work countless hours to make this building possible. We're standing in the building now. So many nonprofits and donors are with us. Did you ever think that we would be standing here one day looking at a leaderboard where, let's see, $5.6 million will have been raised in 24 hours without including any matching? Any matches. It's fantastic. But, you know, what? this is our fifth year of doing this, thanks to the leadership of the Community Foundation of Sarasota and Patterson and Knight and Selby and the Manatee Community Foundation and I think the community members are to be just patted on the back and applauded because they're the ones that make this happen and all of the donors to all of the nonprofits supporting their nonprofits and I think now after five years people are onto this and they know this is a good deal they can maximize their donation, they can get their friends to donate, and the nonprofits are working this, and it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for the nonprofits to raise the money that they need for their programs 
but what a fun way for everybody in this community to show how fun it is to support the nonprofits they love. So it's a win-win for everybody. It is fun. I have one more question for you, Marilyn. Since being in Manatee County, I have really noticed something that you've known for many years, and that is organizations here support each other, their leaders call on each other for help, and they also know that the Manatee Community Foundation is here for them. So what do you think makes our community different in that way that we're able to work together and, and join together for the greater good? People here are just wonderful. I, I think there's been, in all honesty, I think we've worked hard and I think everyone here has worked hard to maintain a level of trust uh, among the executives of the different nonprofits, knowing that if many times when we work together, we can accomplish more than if we're all just out there for ourselves or for our own organization. And this event, the Giving Challenge, provides so many opportunities for organizations to work together, which reinforces that. Um, but Manatee County, I just, I give credit to the people that live here just wonderful people and it's reflected in our organizations and the people that are on the boards of these organizations and the executives and the staff of these organizations and it's just the way we are. <laughs> That's great. It is such an honor that you came today. It means a lot to everybody here to see you again and to me. So thank well, you and thank thanks for you. everything that you do. So I'm so delighted to be standing with you, Bronwyn, my wonderful colleague from the United Way of Manatee County, the Chief Operating Officer, I might add. And you were just tweeting with absolute intensity. What were you tweeting about? I was tweeting because I just find it so compelling that more than $13 million in 24 hours has been raised by community with matching from the Patterson Foundation. How incredible is that? And we're, as a United Way, we're just really, really excited about the, the benefit that to our community so it is absolutely unbelievable to see it now Bronwyn um, I know that in the 2016 giving challenge United Way of Manatee was raising money for something very specific tell us what that is and tell us why it's so important to the community oh, I'm so glad you asked um, because community really stepped up in a big way uh, we we were fundraising this year for literacy kits and connection with the camp the Suncoast campaign for grade level reading working to ensure that our children are reading on grade level by the end of third grade. So the literacy, literacy kits are so important because they allow our parents that time, that one-on-one -on -one time with their children with specific activities that will help them prepare them for school. Right now we have uh, children that are entering school more than two years behind and we can't afford to continue on that trend line. So the literacy kits will go a long way to ensuring that our children um, can get to school all ready to go. Thank you so much for providing for this important need. How will those kits be distributed in the community? Another very good question, uh, and that was part of the, the partnership. Um, we partnered with Manatee Community Action Agency, who already has an in-home visiting program. Uh, and we thought, you know, if we can get up to 500 kids, there are 500 families that we know for sure we can reach. Well, we got up to more than 700 kids. So now we'll be reaching out to Early Learning Coalition, who has already uh, shared an interest in partnering with us, to see if we can't do the same thing with them. That's so exciting. Um, the campaign for grade level reading has certainly gotten a lot of attention in our community, but it deserves a lot more attention. Why, Bronwyn, is this the most pressing need in our community right now? This is the most pressing need because if our children aren't reading on grade level by the end of third grade, their trajectory is going this way. And we have the ability as community to ensure that all of our children's trajectory goes this way. So if you're not reading on grade level by the end of third grade, your chances of graduating from high school plummet. And we as a community, our chances uh, of thriving plummet along with that. So we're dependent on one another. Our children are our future. And uh, how can people find out more about the work of the United Way of Manatee? I know that many people want to contribute past the 24 hours and you're there to talk with them and meet with them just like everyone on your entire team that's working so diligently on this. What's the best way for them to get more information and to connect with you? There's a great way. There's a phone call. And that's 941-748-1313, uh, but another great way to kind of stay in tune with what's going on is visiting our website and signing up for our newsletter. So uwmanatee.org is a great way to stay in touch. 
Thank you. And Manatee Community Foundation is delighted to be one of the partners in the campaign for grade level reading in Manatee County. But the leader of this effort is the United Way of Manatee County, and we're so grateful for all of their efforts. And I'm grateful to have you as a colleague. So I'm grateful to partner. Thank you. Thanks, Bronwyn. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here with Jeannie Slater, who's not only an amazing person in our community, a board member of Turning Points, she's also the wife of one of our board members at Manatee Community Foundation, Chuck Slater. So um, Jeannie, thank you so much for all of your work in the community. Why is Turning Points such an important organization to support? We have so many in our community that are underserved, and Turning Points uh, provides the services that they need on a daily basis. Uh, they can take showers, they get a haircut. They can apply for food stamps, they can get free medical and dental care, all the kinds of services that the underserved need today. Wonderful. And the Giving Challenge is an opportunity to raise some unrestricted dollars for turning points. Why are unrestricted dollars so important as opposed to dollars that are attributed to a specific program or maybe a piece of equipment? Why is that important? Well, they're all, all the dollars are good, but it's, it's great to have the flexibility. Uh, as some things change, we're not anticipating. Right now, Zika, we, we've got our clients that need uh, repellent. Uh, who knew? So we can use these dollars to do things like that. That's really special. And um, as a board member of Turning Points, you really step up for your organization. Um, we just interviewed some folks with the Humane Society of Manatee County, and Turning Points partnered with the Humane Society. You went over to MotorWorks last night. Tell me a little bit about that event and what happened there. That was a really fun event where we, we came together and we got to meet each other and, uh, and we have a common cause. We have, we have homeless people, we have homeless pets, and uh, I think this county does a great job in addressing both issues. That's great. And um, what I think we see happen at Manatee Community Foundation, when two organizations partner, you get introduced to brand new people, right, that you wouldn't have had access to before. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's just fun. It's just, we're having a good time. Why is fun such an important part of giving? Uh, because you, you, want to, you feel good. And I think when everybody together there's, have, has a common cause, you just, you just feel good and you celebrate. That's wonderful. Jeannie, thanks for being such an amazing board member and for all you do for Turning Points and for our community. Thanks to Community Foundation as well. So Martha Wells from the South Florida Museum, one of my absolute favorite people. One of the things that you excel at, and, and it's hard because you're good at so many different things, is making giving fun for your donors. Why is that so important in the Giving Challenge and in any fundraising campaign? Because having fun is one of the best ways to engage people. When, we, when we're having fun, we remember it. We realize how important it is. And it, I think it also helps us realize how it matters to everyone, whatever it is we're doing. That's right. And the South Florida Museum, you guys are in the midst of an amazing campaign to raise money for your new building. Is your Giving Challenge um, funding going to be used for your new building? Do you have other needs that you're going to be using it for? That's a big question. Uh, we're very fortunate at the South Florida Museum. We just completed an appeal or fundraising campaign this summer to support our operations. So the Giving Challenge this year has been to support our capital campaign. And what's really wonderful about our capital campaign for us is it's physical capital, but it's also about about kind of the creative and the intellectual capital as well and so our giving challenge fundraising is going to support a very specific program called pathways which is a whole new way to experience the museum both for students there's one component and then also for general museum visitors so I've heard so many people say that the renovations, the changes, the new buildings at South Florida Museum are really going to change downtown Bradenton. They're going to change the flavor of our community. Is that true and if so, why? The South Florida Museum's expansion is going to change the flavor of downtown Bradenton. The, one of the key components is a whole new wing that is where our parking lot is now is going to be for early learning, which is families with kids kind of two through eight-ish, but I'm also one of those kids that's going to have a really good time at that. So that'll give a whole new destination for families downtown. And the whole look of the museum is going to be a little bit different. We want to be much more inviting so that there'll be some glass. You'll see what's inside and have that curiosity to come on in and be part of it. Wonderful. So I'm going to ask you to put on a slightly different hat right now. You've been very involved as a leader of the Association of Fundraising Professionals. And what advice do you have for nonprofits that have connected with new donors through the Giving Challenge to holding on to those donors for all time? 
Advice is always a hard thing, but the, something that I think is so important, and I believe all of the foundations that have really made the Giving Challenge possible, have helped us all a great deal learn how to stay in touch, say thank you, and tell people what the heck it is they have made possible. And let them know on a regular basis. Invite them back. It's, what, it's a wonderful opportunity to get to know them by inviting them in to see something, sending them an email, which costs us very little to actually produce. So staying in touch, and then the whole idea of fun also, that there's got to be some way we can have fun. And even for some of the very, very serious organizations that matter in the daily quality of life for people, the engagement of knowing that they made a difference, that's part of what gives that donor fun. So. For fundraisers, fun, oh gosh, that's a terrible pun, is important. Thank you so much, and thank you. Congratulations for all the money you've earned in the Giving Challenge. Director of Manatee Community Foundation, but what I am really grateful for is all of the amazing and generous donors in our community that have contributed to this total of more than $5.7 million without any of the matching, right? So. Thank you to everyone who has given and to all of the hardworking nonprofits that are serving Manatee County. We know how hard you've been working on your Giving Challenge campaigns. We know that you've pulled all of your people together. You've leveraged your volunteers. You've been on social media. You have been up all night long working on this. <laughs> And we are so grateful for all of your efforts. Um, I don't know about you, but when I look at that leaderboard and I see that more than 63,000 individual gifts have been made in 24 hours, I am absolutely astonished and humbled. And I want to give a huge shout out to the board and the staff of Manatee Community Foundation. Thank you for all of your work. And. I'd like to give a particular shout out to Kalena Goodyear, who is our brand new donor coordinator, and to Brian Wiggins, and the two of them have been an unbelievable team for making this possible. They have worked so hard to plan all of the activities and bring in all of our balloons and food and festive things. Pier 22, Smoothie King, we are so, so grateful for your contributions. I also want to thank our sister organization, the Community Foundation of Sarasota County and the Patterson Foundation. So, Wow, so there it is with the matching, more than $13 million, incredible. So all of this has been piloted on the back end by the Community Foundation of Sarasota County and the Patterson Foundation, as you know, for the first year ever, has matched every single contribution up that's made up to $100. So unbelievable generosity and Manatee Community Foundation, we're so grateful to be part of this and we're grateful to you. Thank you. So we're just closing up here for the 2016 Giving Challenge at Manatee Community Foundation. And on behalf of all of us, we'd love to thank our really important partners at the Community Foundation of Sarasota County for driving this bus, for making all of this possible, the Patterson Foundation for the unbelievable matching. No other community in the United States or the world has this matching opportunity that we have had right here in our own community. The Knight Foundation, Selby Foundation, the Herald Tribune, media group and all of the 60,000 donors who have given during this giving challenge have really made it come together. We feel especially proud of our community in Manatee County where so many different organizations work together for the greater good. We help each other out and we come together to celebrate. This day is a day of great celebration and we know that going forward all of the donors that have supported these organizations will continue to work with them as they look at their needs in our community. Manatee Community 
Community Foundation hopes to be the connection between donors and nonprofits as we've been since 1998. Over the last year, we've awarded more than $2 million in grants and scholarships, and this year we know that amount will be even greater as we continue to connect with people who have a deep need to make a difference.